I mean, I think we have to talk about how we started the game and how we felt like we were kind of running scared the entire game. So, you know, this is a part, obviously, that's on me as a head coach. Obviously, we didn't execute very well down the stretch. We didn't get the people the ball that we wanted to after the timeouts. We had several missed opportunities on those executions. But, you know, we just have to kind of look a little bit deeper of how that we were responding. And um, this part, this hasn't changed. So until, you know, the rut that we're in of how we are responding and what our expectations are from the tip, um, until we make a, a strong change with that, you know, our results aren't going to be very good right now. Did you like the response in the sense that you erased a double-digit second-half deficit and you did come One, back? 100% because we had some players that were playing with a ton of heart. Heart. You had Aliana Leon out there playing with Crystal, out there playing with um, Jaquel King or Sid Epps, who is like, you know, diving for every loose ball, laying down on the line. So that's just that little piece that, that we all need to realize. It doesn't matter how talented somebody is. You've got to play with a ton of heart. And until we start doing that collectively, 1 to 14, um, you know, we're going to be in a little bit of a situation that we are right now. But I was very proud of those five. Um, Don, Deion Thomas Palmer, who's, you know, the walking wounded and out here just trying to give everything she can to try to help us get a win. So I think that, that and it really goes back, um, you know, to the mental part of how we respond to things that don't go our way. Coach, you mentioned how your team started and maybe the, the turnover is a, a part of how your team started 24 in the game. It seemed much better in the second half, 15 in the first half, yeah. nine, just nine in the second half, but just the impact of that on your Well, that was performance. the running scared part. You know, we, we kind of obviously, you know, they do what they do. We know what they do. We haven't faced a lot of people they do that. Um, that caused a lot of little fumbles and, and really bad. Then they shot gaps in our passing lanes when we just, when we got down in, into the uh, front court. So, you know, we didn't play discipline in that part. And that's like two days in a row, two games in a row, where we just think we can come out and do what we want to do and someone's not going to respond against it. So, you know, that part wasn't real pleasing at all. And 15 turnovers at half. But let's just talk about 13 for 25 from the free throw line. You know, if we play what we don't play well and we miss every free throw. So, I mean, you can tell the mental part of what, what we have to be a lot better at mentally. You guys had three shot clock violations in late in the first half and early in the second half, and then the last one in like the last two minutes. So, can you, how can you describe that as impact on the game? Yeah, well, counting the missed opportunities right there. You know, just too many. We had tons of them in the Drexel game. We had, you know, had a whole street line of missed opportunities. So we got to execute better down the, not even down the stretch throughout all parts of the game. So, you know, that part, you know, again is on me as a coach, and we got to do better in practice. And we've got to, you know, we've got to, we have to get the ball people that we need to get the ball. We're not doing that at all. You know, we're not tossing it around like a hot potato and not getting the ball where we need to get it. 36 points in the paint for your team, 26 for William & Mary, a real paint battle. And it seemed like that was just a back and forth physical game down low in the paint through basically the entire game. Is that what you were expecting? Well, yeah, I mean, I, you know, our guards, my guards got to continue, you know, performing and doing what they can do. But yeah, I mean, I felt like we had an advantage in the paint and they have, they do a great job of getting and isolating their players if they want to score. Um, they had Boone and, you know, got her in a lot of positions where she could go one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you know, and we were trying, even in the last play down there, we were trying to get the ball inside. Um, you know, so we've got to, uh, you know, got to do better. What do you guys look forward to against Northeastern this coming week? I mean, just a, a mental battle for us to really, you know, to figure out where we are as a team and, you know, what what our platform is, and, and we got to, you know, we got to come out on top here. You know, we, you know, this is, you know, kind of what we are a little bit right now and being a little bit too mentally fragile, and we've got to get better.